uh, and so on. So my idea is just to prove and to show that uh, our pantheon is just is one part of the human pantheon. Now I will tell you just very in two, three uh, phrases. First, uh, before the uh, modern civilization or even an antique civilization, there was a big, big period of prehistory. We speak about two or three thousand years, but indeed, the man lived for 20,000 years. 20,000 years ago, even 40,000 years ago. And there was a period of pre-Christian when uh, Arctic, Hyperborean civilization was in the north. Uh, and the Vedic tradition, you open Veda, it is a separate text, of they say that they came to India from the north. And they mentioned the rivers, the names. This is not myth. This is just historical truth. They know it. Tilak has written a book, the uh, Arctic, uh, Pra, uh, fatherland uh, in Vedas. So they came from this. But it is all time. Okay. Indians came to India, uh, came to India Slavic came to, uh, to, from Danube to Russia, Celtic world appeared, and so on. Now we have Europe. <coughs> when we speak of so called uh, Pantheon, or the Pantheon, uh, very well, every person knows Olympic gods. Olympic Games, Olympic God, you for, you, for example, it is transmitted by TV for million, for million, million people. Olympic Games, they say Olympic God, Zeus, Olympic God, Athenas, and people say, okay, they are Greek gods. No, never. I tell you the history of one family, of, because an ancient gods, they had families, like people. One family, which I call Hyperborean family, what? The father was Zeus. Deus. It has in Russian div. The mother was there were he had two wives. The first was Gea, the the Madzimla, motherland. But later came another one, beautiful blonde from the north. Her name was Lada. And he married her. And she gave him two children, Apollo and Artemis. Well, what is Lada? What is La Lada Latona? It is very well known in every manual. Latona is Lada, it is a Greek or Roman Roman uh, days. But she was not, she came from the northern, northern what is now Russia and, or Ukraine. She gave it two children, Apollo and uh, Artemis. We have the same, this is our mythology too. So Apollo is Dash Bog, here it is. Uh, Apollo, here is Apollo, here is Apollo. Dashbok, and Lida is Ladona, is lady. It is not because it is already, uh, it is here. Only. So, this family is Arctic, Hyperborean family, which is which clearly describe all Hyperborean tradition. So, uh, this way we have common pantheon. For example, some people say, okay, what is Perun? What is Perun? Some Slavic god. There is no Slavic god Perun. There is a Slavic name for Zeus. So, Perun is Zeus. To me, it's very important because this is one family of gods. We are the same civilization, the same one. So, it's no uh, uh, the question of why for Heracle is popular in Russian mythology. Or, uh, for example, how the Vikings uh, came to Sevilla. Because this is one European culture. Uh, so, it should be, uh, uh, and of course, the, uh, the whole Russian history uh, the art is full of these uh, symbols, like Yggdrasil, so, uh, this is Scandinavian tree. <laughs> Yggdrasil, it is the Scandinavian name for the world tree, for Arbor Mundi, for Arbor Mundi. But we call it Dre Drevo Zizni. Drevo Zizni, uh, there is a picture there. Uh, the first one, Jiva, I will tell you then. I, I, will, I will go and will show every picture. And Rod. So, I, if there are here some philosophers, or just thinkers, please take to your consideration one simple thing. There is a, no, a phenomenon and there is a no man. Phenomenon is the, the thing as it is. I am phenomenon. Here I am. But I have names. I am Tulaev. I am Pavel. I am friend of Chris. I am the husband of my wife. I am the friend of Freya. These are my names. I am guest here. But if you can, here's the guest. Guest is not my phenomenon, 
this is my no man, you know? So the same with the gods. So Zeus is the name of the father god. But his name are the Tran Thunderer, Perum, the Omnipotentis, Deus Diorum, and so on. So, but of course, people who are not, uh, who said, they say, okay, how many gods do you have? These are not gods, these are names. Like, for example, if you uh, read the names of uh, uh, Maria, she is the mother of, mother of uh, sky, Tsaritsa Nibesna. She has hundreds of names. Есть, как называется, Литония. Литония, как читаешь? Литация. There is a Latin word. You read the names of the goddess, the uh, names. Litani. Litani. So this is, she is the same. She is the same. When there was chaos, there was a creation of cosmos. Easy, easy. She, she, she created the notch. She created the cosmos. Then appeared as a she appeared as a mother of the cosmos, and she gave not only people uh, uh, she gave, but also the gods, the, the whole pantheon. So, of course, this cosmogony maybe is a little bit difficult for youngsters, but anyway, we should know it at least to understand that uh, our history is not for two centuries and even not for two thousand years. We are not against Christian religion. We just say to the Christians, okay, this is a spiritual way, spiritual way, and believe. But history, and it is much more complicated. There is no one God. There is one God in diversity. In diversity. And the God has many diversity and many names. And many names. Well, maybe now I uh, uh, represent some pictures. Some pictures. Or, or Maybe um, I tell you some of the exposition, and then I speak. So, uh, how it started? I'm the publisher of a magazine. Now it is the name Ateneo. You know what is Ateneo? Ateneo is the temple or the house of Athena. People say, ah, Greek, she's a Greek goddess, or Hellenic. Of course, but she's not only Hellenic. She has also the name Minera. But Minera is not Hellenic. It is Roman, yes, but it is not Roman only. It is Etruscan, yeah, also. And Slavs, Venets, they had their own Minera. Her name was Raetia. No? So, if I know, and Belena, Belona, the, the Celtic, they have their own name. So, uh, this, this is very, very popular. Minera was very popular in all Europe. The, there were temples, there were in the medieval times. There were museums and bibliotheques, schools, academies. So she is protecting me, and I have found Ateneum. Uh, and uh, the first, before Ateneum, I published the magazine, which was called The Heritage of Ancestors. Heritage of Ancestors. Uh, and uh, it was devoted only to history, because this is a history, philosophy, religion, and culture. And uh, in two, 2004, 2004, so about eight, eight years ago, I was invited to Kiev. Kiev is the capital of old Rus, old Russia. Now the, the name is Ukraine. But in every sources, in every history, even in manual, it is Rus, old Rus. I was invited to come. Of course, I could come to Kiev and speak about things. What is history? But I would like to show something to people, like you, like young young girls. They, they do not history maybe a very, but they would like to see something. And I decided to, to bring an uh, exposition. It, and it, this one part of this exposition, maybe 25, was posted. Was uh, posted. It, it was a big success. But you know what Ukrainians told me? They told me, very good. Nice, but why did you take Ukrainian gods? These are our Ukrainian gods. And you tell that they are Russian gods. <laughs> I was laughing. They are not Ukrainians. They are not Russian. They are our native gods. You know? So nationalism is sometimes a little bit strict. Everybody wants to say, this is Hellenic, this is Roman, this is Ukrainian, this is Russian. No. They are, we are relatives. We are, we are a family. And everybody sees it from his point of view, gives his own name. So, but anyway, it was a success. 
Then I decided, and I was, uh, uh, why I took the book? Because when I was publishing the magazine, I gathered pictures. Well, from I asked, please uh, make a cover for me. Please make a picture. And I gathered uh, artists, uh, and uh, yeah, I became a collector. Well, uh, maybe I should say one more thing. Just my grandma was an artist. So in the childhood, I was visiting museums. I was, I would like to be an artist. I was painting and so But this is my private history. Indeed, as a publisher, I collected uh, uh, talented people. But uh, uh, now, now I, uh, after this exposition, I decided, well, maybe I will publish it. And I, uh, appeared the idea to publish the album. It took me four years, four years, uh, because two years to, to prepare it. Then I decided to make an introduction, because this is the only history of pagan, pagan art in Russia. Then uh, the collection was always developing. For example, uh, Gusevnikov came to me, Pavel, I have the new one. No, take this picture off and please put in another. Because when he came to me, he was uh, we see a like this. He was uh, he, it was his picture with the O. But now he's a he's the best uh, uh, illustrator of Russia. So in ten years, the young man like you became the very famous Russian illustrator. When Ori came to me, Ori, he was a uh, like skinhead, and he okay, it's good idea to, to do. What, he was a now. In 10 years, he became the best, the very best uh, web designer. You know what it is. So, uh, we are in, in development. So, while I was getting ready, it was, com it was completed, completed. It, we started with six or seven artists and finished with 14. 14. For example, when it was finished, I, sh I have showed the model of the album to my, uh, to another mecenas, Micha Medvedev, and said, okay, very good album. Why, why you didn't invite Alshansky? Alshansky, okay, Alshansky, I will, and this way Alshansky now is one of the very, very important ones. The same of Klimenka. Okay, Klimenka was a, I said, Klimenka, I thought he's dead, Klimenka. Uh, I was told, no, Klimenka live, uh, live in the United States. And he said, no, he, 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 has, come, he has come back to Russia. And they, I was given a telephone. So this way I collected this, uh, this album. Uh, and uh, then I decided to give uh, a vocabulary. Because, you know, oh, for example, some people, oh, there are some pictures, see and forget about it. But not to me. This is mythology. So, and I worked for two years, one year and a half, to write the very academically correct uh, commentaries, commentary to this. So, now we have an encyclopedia. You read the prehistory, you see the collection, and you have an explication. Because there are dictionaries but without pictures. There are uh, like collection of pictures without explication or very, or very primitive explication. Even sometimes they mix, mix the gods, they do not know. So this is art album and encyclopedia. Now, when I published it, it was a big success. There was a big presentation in Moscow because I have organized a mystery. Uh, I invited all my friends, they are artists, painters,